कंसिडर आई हैव द स्टेटस सेट ऑन विच आई हैव द नेम ऑफ बिल्डर आर कंस्ट्रक्शन एलोंग विद द कॉस्ट द नेम आर अ लिटिल बिट लॉन्गर सो इफ वी सेलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ दिस डेटा एंड क्रिएट अ नॉर्मल कॉलम चार्ट लुक एट द होरिजेंटल डेटा लेबल हाउ डिफिकल्ट वी आर फेसिंग टू रीड वन बाय वन बट वाई नॉट टू स्पेंड अ लिटिल बिट मोर टाइम टू इम्प्रूव द होरिजेंटल एक्स एक्सिस डेटा लेबल Each and everything on this graph is totally dynamic. For example, on row number ten, we can see silver stone infra. This is a little smaller name. If I just double click and update this name with, let's say, group, hit enter, you can see we can clearly read this one. Even if I double click again and add another word, let's say I'm going to add work. hit enter we can still clearly see but look at here silver info group work how difficult we are facing here but how clearly we can read on our first chart so how we can create this amazing chart i am going to show you each and everything in this video consider i have the two column of data set the first column are the name the next column are the data set which are generated using rand between function The next thing we need to create a helper column simply type helper for this column we need to apply a very easy max function open parenthesis the first thing i need to select all of the column because we want to extract the max value from this column hit f4 key to lock the reference close parenthesis multiply this 20% but before hitting enter we need to type a negative sign and hit enter on the next cell we need to type zero hit enter and now we need to select both of the cell and simply drag these down but here you can see we need to select copy cell instead of fill series and this will apply the formula zero formula zero on each and every alternator row now our data set are ready we need to select all of the data set click on insert recommended chart in this case i will select all chart click combo chart and for the helper we need to select the scatter series make sure uncheck the secondary x axis and simply hit okay the next thing we need to do a little bit formatting i will increase the size of this chart a little bit more click on the plus button and simply of the chart title for now of the grid line and also uncheck the legend as well now click plus button again right click on the column format data series for the gap width i want 20% hit enter now click on format click on the shape fill i want this blue color click again on the shape fill and we need to apply a little bit gradient variation as well the next thing click on plus button and apply data label on this series only plus button again click on the data label click on home make the data label bold and change the font color to blue font color the next thing i will click on the format on the very left side you can see a drop down simply click on this drop down and we need to select horizontal category x axis click on this option scroll a little bit more and here you can see labels scroll a little bit more and here you can see label position next to x axis click on this one we need to select non option the next thing i will click on vertical x axis and simply hit delete key the last thing i will click on format again on the very left side click on the drop down we need to select the helper series now click on plus button again and we need to apply the error bar expand the error bar options and now here you can see error bar options The first thing we need to delete the horizontal error bar. So if you click on format on the very left side you can see x axis error bar and y error bar. First I will click on x axis error bar and simply hit delete key. Now click again on this drop down and we need to select the y error bar. For the y error bar I need to select the minus direction and for the end style I don't want any cap. Now I will scroll a little bit more click on custom specify a value and for the positive error I will remove everything and select the helper column 
and for the negative error as well i will remove everything and select the helper column and now if i simply hit ok we have created our error bar i will click fill and lines in this case i want to change the color of my error bar to the same blue color and now i will increase the width of my line a little bit more I will choose the dotted line for this. Scroll a little bit more. For the begin arrow, I need to select this arrow type. And I will increase the size a little bit more as well. Now, if I click outside my chart, this is how my arrow is looking like. The next thing we need to apply the data label. I will click on my chart again, click on format. We need to select the helper series again. The first thing I will click on plus button. We need to apply the data label, more data label options. Click label option and expand this one. We need to uncheck the Y value and show leader line. We simply need to select the X value. For the label position, we need to select the below position. Now click on properties. Scroll a little bit more. Uncheck the allow text to overflow the shape and make sure you select the warp text in shape now if i click outside my chart it's look like a little better but why not to warp this text in two columns sorry in two rows i will click on the data label again click on properties and here you can see lift margin right margin we need to increase this a little bit more we need to increase the right margin 3 as well so that our text on the middle as well now if i click outside it's looking better i will click on my data label click on home we need to choose the same blue color make it bold as well now if i click outside my data label are looking perfect the only thing we need to hide these dot i will click on my chart again click on format and we need to select the helper series and for the shape fill i will select no fill for the shape outline i will select no outline now if i click outside our chart is almost ready but the only thing we need to add this dark black line if i click on step by step and click on my chart click on format here you can see horizontal category x axis click on this one we need to choose this outline for the shape fill, I will choose the black outline color and also for the shape outline, the black one. Again, click on this wall and increase the weight a little bit more as well. Now, if I click outside, our chart is almost ready. But one last thing, I will click on my chart, click on chart design, select data, click hidden and empty cell. Make sure you check show data in hidden rows and column and hit OK and hit okay again now if i hide this helper column each and everything is perfectly working if i change the value for example i'm going to manually change this value hit enter our chart is perfectly working i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful if you have any other question in mind just write me in comment thank you so much